people know you now as a reality TV show superstar. But people might not realize, long before you ever got on that show, you were really great as an employee working records for Bad Boy Records, working along people like myself, Hard Pierre, Sean Diddy Combs for many, many years. So just establishing your credibility. For anybody watching this, I want to extract as many gems and as much information from you to help somebody who is in middle America, somebody who might not be in Los Angeles or in New York. You know, if they're looking to become a reality TV show star, start with me. How did you first get on your show? And then we'll go into how somebody else can get discovered. Well, obviously, my background at Bad Boy helped me because I was known in the music industry. So the way things used to be 10 years ago when I first started was there was, a, there was more substance oriented. So when Love & Hip Hop came, they were looking for artists who were credible. In that time, it was Jim Jones. Then they were looking for people who worked, and it was Olivia, and it was people who worked in the industry. So I was the person who worked in the industry with Yandy Smith, and it was like that. So the, back, the basic background was that people knew me in New York City. People knew me as working for Bad Boy Records. They knew who Rich Dollars was, right? So when constructing a show, they were like, okay, we want people that we know are credible, have substance, and that can come on here and essentially talk about what their paths and what they're doing, as well as what they're doing now. And at that time, it was managing Olivia. So when we joined the show, that's kind of how it all started. Okay. You're talking specifically love and hip hop, which makes sense. Right. You have a background in the music industry. Mm -hmm. But for any reality TV show out there, it's not like you can go and, you know, go on to some of these sites, uh, LinkedIn or, or any of these right. sites that have job postings. How do people get discovered? How do you even know when there's a new reality TV show that are looking for cast members? How, you know, do you know for existing reality TV shows that are looking to bring new blood into the mix? Where, where can people get this information? Well, now, well, back then it was kind of word of mouth. It was kind of, oh, there's a new show that's about to come out. It's called Love and Hip Hop. Or there's this show called Housewives or where Ray J was doing the dating show. And it was like, I need a bunch of girls. So it was kind of word of mouth. But now it's way more detailed and intricate. You can go out there and there's like literally casting calls. Now, the reality TV shows? Correct. Correct. They won't tell you that you're being casted. They'll say music industry person, people with this kind of background, people who do this, people who work at strip clubs or bartenders or whatever it may be that you're doing, come out. We want to interview you for a reality show. They'll never say what it is. But when you get there, because it's so reality shows have become so popular now that they're specific. So now it's like. If you are a bartender, there's reality shows about bartenders. Or if, you have hit, if you're a chef, then there's reality shows about being a chef. So they literally have casting calls, and then they go and they do their research on you, and they start to pry into your background, into your innermost secrets to find out if, in fact, you would even be good television. But the first initial thing was, like, literally, they have casting calls now. Okay. Where do I find these casting calls? Are there specific apps? Are there websites? What should I be signed up to or what should I look out for so that I can at least, you know, I might not know it's for a reality TV show, but mm -hmm. I at least have the knowledge that they're looking for somebody. The funny thing is you can actually look in the trade magazines now. There's like, and remember how when you were looking for a, 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 a job in the city and you wanted to be on Broadway, where you go to the Village Voice and those kind of places? You can go to those same trade magazines now. There's those same trade magazines that are having auditions for regular television shows, unscripted television shows, or scripted television shows, or whatever it may be. They have those same things for reality now. It's, it's become all meshed into one. Rich, how long have you been on Love & Hip Hop? This was my 10th season on New York. Overall, I've done... 10 years and 12 seasons of Love & Hip Hop. Wow. So you, you're an expert in this area because people have come, people have gone. We see reality TV shows all the time. You have somehow cracked the code. You have figured out how I can not only be a cast member on these shows, 
but have longevity. Make myself such an integral part of this show that season over season, they need me, or I won't even word it that way, but my character is needed to be on that show. That's incredible. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.